Okay, <laughs> it's Lissy, no makeup, almost three o'clock, Saturday, May 21st, and um, one of my favorite Instagrammers, Hey Janie, um, if you don't follow her or you don't know her, go check out her Instagram. She has, she, beautiful, beautiful, like not, I don't know if I've ever really seen her, but beautiful, like flowers, doorways in London, um, you know, kind of beautifully placed, like, Chanel this and that. Just one of my favorite Instagrams. Um, but she and I have followed each other, and we've had, like, a little bit of dialogue back and forth over the time we followed each other. And recently, she asked if I would um, show what makeup I used when I did my makeup for Party in the Park. So... This is an attempt to recreate that makeup look. <laughs> Whether or not it's an successful attempt is unclear. But, um, and just so you know, like I usually do my makeup, this is my bedroom. I usually do my makeup in my bathroom. However, um, it's just the lighting's not good in there and there's no good place to like set myself. So I'm gonna be actually doing my makeup like as though this is my mirror. So, um, we'll see what happens. But, okay, I'm like, what should I do? Should I show you everything first? I guess I'll just show you bit by bit. So, my first step always in my makeup. Oh, you know what? I forgot something. Hold on. Okay, my first step always in my makeup is my foundation. I know some people, like, sometimes I feel like I should do my eyes first, and then if shadows fall, you can fix it with your foundation. But I don't usually have that problem, so, um... I was recently turned on to this Belief Hungarian Water Essence on one of my trips to Sephora. Um, I had a gal kind of do over my foundation, and I was telling her, like, that I get a lot of redness, and, oh no, this is the wrong product. Hold on. This is what I put on before I do my, um, this is what I put on before I do my moisturizer. So... I do do this every day, and then I do my La Mer. But I really put on something before my foundation, which I'm going to get. Hold on. Yeah, multiple steps to get ready. <laughs> but what I really do before my foundation is this Alginist Reveal Color Correcting Radiant Primer. So basically, I take this, and I sque squeeze out just a tiny like bit on my hand. And I, um, it's got like, it's like a little grainy. So I kind of rub in like, you know, soften up those grains. This is what she told me to do. And then I just put it like usually where I get the most redness. I'm not particularly red today. Um, some days are worse than others. Sometimes the winter is worse. But honestly, you can kind of see like this is more red than that. So maybe this really does work. Um, in the winter... When the heat is on and it's dry and I take extra hot showers, I get a lot more redness than um, I do this time of year now that it's like, you know, in the 60s and 70-ish outside. Okay, then I use the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Moisturizing Photo Edition Foundation in, I think this says Bamboo Beige. That's that, Bamboo Beige. I shake it up a little bit. Again, I squeeze just like a little bit out on my hand, and I use my, did I put it out here? See, this is the problem with doing things not in my normal order. Hold on yet again. I'm all discombobulated. It was not even in its right place. So I use my Tom Ford um, foundation brush, this brush, the Tom Ford 02, well, O2 when you look at it the right way. And I I kind of just put it all over my face and my lips. Okay. Okay, so that's all I do for my face. And then every day, 
pretty much with my eyeshadow, I put on a base. And I use this MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Bare Study. So it's this paint pot. There. And um, I just take a little bit on my finger and kind of put it all over my lid. You know, I just, I, I don't ever not use eyeshadow base, but I feel like, so I don't really know if this is a true statement, but I feel like it makes my eyeshadow stay better. <laughs> so that's my theory. And then I have been loving the Visart um, eye palettes. Now, these are, so there's 12 of them. This is the Paris Nude. I'm pretty sure this is the one I used that day. I went back and looked at my, um, now these are, you know, people say they're expensive and I guess they are. I think it's like $80, maybe 85, but I feel like you'd pay like $40 for a quad somewhere, you know? So for 12 eyeshadows, I don't know. It doesn't seem terrible to me. I guess maybe if it, if you're not going to use them, but I have three of these palettes and really I love, like, I love them. I go to them more than most of my other, and I have a lot of other stuff. Like, these I really, really like. So, I am thinking the day for the party in the park, I did, like, a lighter, like, all over, especially here, and then I kind of did a pinky, um, I want to make sure I have everything I need because I keep leaving you, and then I kind of did a pinkier, like, in the crease um, and I think everything else was really like my normal makeup so what I think I did and I don't know which color is which in this palette but like I think what I probably did and let's try it was use this one like all over here And I think I took like the white one and went in even a little more to give it more kind of like brightness right on the lid. Um, and then I think I probably took, I might probably took these two and like, This is kind of my like standard routine, like in some different set of colors, my like most everyday easy kind of makeup. Yeah, this looks, this looks like it's probably what I did that day. And then I usually kind of go back in to get a little more in here. Um, and I really like these palettes. Like, I like these, um, like, I think I use these warm colors a lot. And I like to use, like, this one, like, kind of as a liner, like, over and under. Um, I do that a lot. But this day, I think I did pinkier stuff, which is what I'm doing here. Okay, then I have, I love this. I actually think I need a new one. This is a Chantecaille, I don't know what you call it. Like, I don't know what the official name of it is, but it's a Chantecaille, like, oh God. It's a really thin, liquidy liner, but it's very stiff, so it's easy to use, um, easier to use than I think most of these, like if you want that kind of thin drawn on line. And I'm pretty sure I may have to go, I think I have to go do this in front of a real mirror because everything looks backwards to me here and um, I'll be right back. Okay, so basically I drew on on each side a very, like a thin line, like, ugh, I just can't do it in here all the way into the um, insides of my eyes. And then I do just a little bit here. Um, 
I don't know how that came out. And then I take a Tom Ford. This is, I think, espresso. This is well used. I have this in, I have, I have used these. I have this and also in a black. Um, but it's just a pencil liner. And I like to go on the inside. And sometimes I kind of go underneath too, though that day I'm not sure I did. Hold on yet again. I'm actually just going to put a mirror right here so I don't have to keep exiting if I want to like finish this up. Yeah, so see, I did not do a good job of that in front of the computer. Um, here it is. Okay. So I just do a little bit in the corner like this. Yeah, I think this is okay. Okay. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay. Then I use... I really like the Dior Show mascara, but it's, I'm out of it at the moment. So this is the YSL, the Faux Seals, I think. So I'm using this today. Um, I need to go get the Dior Show. And actually, I can't decide if I should go back to the um, Tom Ford. See, here's the thing. The Tom Ford is really my favorite, favorite mascara of all the mascaras. But it's $40 or $45. And, you know, you need to get a new one every, like, four to six weeks. Um, now, the Dior show, I also need to get a new one every four to six weeks, but it's half the price, which is why I started kind of going back to trying this, the YSL or the, um, the Dior. So I don't know what I'll do. I do really love the Tom Ford, though. This one goes on like a little, the Dior one go. this one it goes on a little like wetter, I feel like. The Dior one goes on drier, if that makes any sense at all, it might not. Um, yeah. But I would say in order, I like Tom Ford, then Dior, then this one. But I like all of them, like... And, you know, mascara is all about preferences. Okay, then this is also part of my everyday, like, routine. So almost every day, like, when I'm not really, like, trying to do something new or experimental, I always wear my um, Laura Mercier Bronze 04. Oops. This thing. Bronzer. And I use this. This is one of my favorite brushes. This is the Tom Ford number five, and I just kind of put it all over, like the, my cheek and up the side. And I really don't wear blush, some, like every day. I like blush, and when I'm playing around to do something different, I'll use blush, but on an everyday basis, like I feel like the bronzer's enough. And then I use the Laura Mercier, the highlight, zero one. And so I take a brush and I just, Put it right at the top of my cheekbones because I like to be glowy. Um, and this is really what I did that day. And then the lipstick that day. So I brought two out just because the one I did. Oh, God. Okay. Hello. <laughs> the one I used that day was definitely this Tom Ford. It was one of the Lips and Boys. Frances Francesco. So... I love these because they're tiny when you're like, you know, carrying a smaller purse, like it's just easy. But I feel like most of those lips and vo boys were limited edition. So I'll try to find it. And if I can't, I mean, and if I do, I'll put the link below. But I have also this color. This is a Tom Ford. Plum Lush, 
which I think you could do also if you don't have Francesco. See, it looks really just like almost the same. Um, so Janie, for you, my friend, that is my makeup look from Party in the Park. I hope I recreated it like, I think I did. Um, because I went back and looked at the pictures in the video and I'm pretty, like, I'm, I, I did a pink ear look, so, and I'm pretty sure it was this one. Um, but anyway, I hope you like it. And I will, um, so I'll probably do this as a standalone video. And then I have two outfit videos from last week that I filmed. And actually, I'll add in to what I'm wearing today. I'm really just wearing a fun top with, like, distressed jeans, but I'm going to change later because I think I'm going out to dinner tonight. But I also was tagged in the um, luxury attic tag by the Lux Babe. So um, I think I'm going to film that this afternoon, the luxury attic tag. So I have a few things coming. Um, that's it. Happy Saturday. Talk to you soon. Bye.